The Marine veteran accused in Jordan Neely's death is out free on $100,000 bond tonight. Daniel Penny is charged with manslaughter in the second degree, but Neely's family says that's not enough. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram is live outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Jennifer. Dick and Dana, Daniel Penny surrendered to authorities earlier this morning. He was then brought here to the Manhattan Criminal Courthouse for that arraignment on a manslaughter charge. The judge listened to his attorney, listened to prosecutors, and then granted him bail. Marine veteran Daniel Penny surrendered to authorities Friday morning at the 5th Police Precinct in Manhattan to face a second degree manslaughter charge in the chokehold death of Jordan Neely. He did so voluntarily and with the sort of dignity and integrity that is characteristic of his history of service to this grateful nation. He was later arraigned at the Manhattan Criminal Court where he waived the reading of his charges and was not required to enter a plea. Why didn't he enter a plea? It's because the grand jury hasn't yet indicted him and the people, the prosecutor, plan to bring this before a grand jury. During the arraignment, Penny's attorneys told the judge Penny has been cooperating with police and the district attorney's office, has strong ties to New York City, attends a four-year college and is pursuing a bachelor's degree in architecture, enlisted in the Marine Corps when he was a teen and spent four years there before he was honorably discharged. They also said Penny earned multiple medals and ribbons for good conduct while serving. The judge granted bail, which was set at $100,000, and Penny walked out of the courthouse with his attorneys. Attorneys for the family of Jordan Neely spoke before Penny's court appearance, calling for more serious charges. Neely's father and aunt stood by in silence, too distraught to speak. The consequences of manslaughter, too, is five to 15 years. Ask yourself, is that enough? Is that enough for someone who choked somebody out on the train and took their life? Five to 15 years. Murder, too, up to 25 to life. So we need. A full cup of justice here. Penny is seen on video restraining 30 year old Jordan Neely with a chokehold on a New York City subway on May 1st. Neely later died and his death was ruled a homicide. Witnesses say Neely, who was homeless and a familiar Michael Jackson impersonator on subway platforms, was acting erratically, threatening subway riders and screaming before Penny tried to subdue him. Since Neely's supporters have been taking over streets and subway platforms, calling for an arrest and more to be done for New Yorkers struggling with mental health. We know it's second degree manslaughter that the people, the prosecutors want, but the grand jury is really going to have to agree or disagree with that. Penny is due back in court on July 17th. If convicted, he could face up to 15 years in prison. We are live in Lower Manhattan. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jennifer. Manhattan District Attorney, uh, pardon me, Alvin Bragg released a statement after the arraignment. The DA said the investigation has included numerous witness interviews and a careful review of the video. Bragg went on to say, quote, Jordan Neely should still be alive today, and my thoughts continue to be with his family and loved ones as they mourn his loss during this extremely painful time. Stay with CBS 2 News and our streaming channel, CBS News New York, for continuing coverage on the subway chokehold arrest.